get ready with me. So let's get ready. We're going to our wedding. I'm taking you guys on this little journey with me. It's a Hindu marriage ceremony here in Trinidad. And I'm sure you've seen numerous wedding videos on the internet. This one is a little close to me, so I decided to take you guys along for the journey. The Hindu marriage ceremony is a sacred one. It's a beautiful one. It can be very elaborate, but it's fun, 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 and a lot of entertainment. So let's go. How do I look guys? Do you like my outfit? It's a navy blue and a with all the weekend. the groom and uh, usually there are little preliminary traditions that need to be fulfilled before the actual ceremony so the groom usually comes down to the uh, mandap or the place where all the pujas and rituals are performed and this is where he will get dressed and he's usually dressed by his sister and uh, of course his brother-in-law is the one who will put on his shoes and take him to the car or whichever vehicle it is that he's going to go to the bride's place or in this case Prem is going to get married in the temple so this is where his vehicle will be taking him and before the vehicle leaves the five married ladies they will perform something called pariche which is you know cleansing the atmosphere and you know warding off evil and all these sorts of things so if you guys want to know more about the details of these traditions, please let me know in the comments down below. Right now, this lovely picture that you're seeing with the groom and his father and brother, 
they are in the reception or genoise and of course they're waiting to go to the mandap where the rest of the ceremony will take place in the meantime the bride just completed the imli gotai and the dal sankalpa which is a ceremony which is a consecration of gifts to the bride the groom's elder brother he comes with gifts of clothing and jewelry for the bride puja and hawan is performed and the bride then leaves to change into other clothes for another part of the ceremony And then the Dulaha or the groom, he enters the mandap and they have the blessing of the pirha or the seat. Father's uh, puja material in the groom's right and left hand, respectively, and he closes and crosses his hands, then he touches the various parts of his body. This is symbolic of good health. He is then given a yellow dhoti to sit on. Well, usually they do, right? But in this case, uh, we didn't really see that. And the groom is honored as Lord Vishnu by the bride's father. And then there's another part of the ceremony called the Madhu Parka which follows and the groom is offered a taste of honey symbolic of the pleasures of joy and of marriage. Young still, but he was much more younger at that time. 
when you work with me at Fisher Boys, and of course, it comes to our very and humble family. So I want to all say God's blessings and wish you all the best as he embarks on this new phase, you know. These days, young people have many options. Some of them go out to a destination, but they never come back and tell you that they get married. They don't allow parents and family to do this. So when you see young ones journey along this step, especially nowadays, we have to be thankful and give this support to them because this is what holds our drama together. And this is actually the way that is set up for our drama. When our younger ones get the opportunity and they allow their parents and their elders and family members to join. So I want to say God's blessings to him and to Wendy G, of course, both Wendy G is welcome back to uh, the ceremony this afternoon. It is our pleasure. The way could not be here, he has puja like myself. And I'm not going to say it to you that, also have puja. But I want to say, of course, God's blessings upon you and your family, especially your father. I know he's very, very happy uh, to see his son get married and probably even happier when he gets a grandchild out of this. So I want to say God's blessings with these words. That's all about our heads. Hari Om Gauri Nandana Gauda Vadana Vadana Sthingada Lambodana Sindhu Rajita Dika Jindra Vadana Paharodana Pura Karana Lamba Vilamba Ganda Vilasat Kante Jamukhavani Sri Vitne Shara Vitna Vanjan Karo Kuriya Sadamangala Pratidinam Kusharam Jai Mangalam Pratidinam Kusharam Jai Mangalam Pratidinam Kusharam Jai Mangalam the arrival of his Dilhan or bride and she is making her entry into the mandir towards the mandap and this is where the main ceremony will take place now because she has arrived for both of them to become husband and wife and so we will see the kanyadan or the giving away of the bride there will also be the seven steps or sad pere where they will be taking the seven steps and then we will have the vows as well as some other parts of the ceremony so keep watching the reason that everyone stands when the bride arrives in the Hindu marriage ceremonies because on this day she is revered and she is worshipped as that goddess Mahalakshmi. So a lot of respect is paid to both her and the Dulaha or groom as he is also revered and worshipped and respected as that god in the form of Lord Vishnu. So that's the importance and the sanctity of a Hindu marriage ceremony. So I hope that you guys are enjoying it so far.
particular video you would have also seen it or witnessed the patching of the lava or the drain of the lava and uh, that is used in this part of the ceremony and the lava power or circumambulation of the sacred fire and the altar is done by both the bride and the groom and the bride and groom they walk around the fire seven times praying for religious merit, prosperity, passionate energy for each other, liberation, long life and healthy children. And each time the lava is offered into the fire signifying prosperity and fertility. The Sapta Pari symbolizes that, that the groom and the bride may live happy and divine and share their happiness in seven more births to come. The bride leads for the first four rounds and requests seven conditions whilst the groom leads three times and requests five conditions.
Traditionally, when you finish eating, you fold your leaf and then discard of it. It's safe for the environment eating on a leaf, a real leaf, than paper or anything like that because the real leaf will decompose and eventually go back to the earth. So it's not just about the ceremony. There's so much uh, significance and traditions behind what a Hindu does and eating with our fingers know has a science behind it as well so so many things to discuss but i hope that you guys are enjoying the wedding so far So they sit and sweet rice is offered to them and they're also given money or dakshana as a gift. So that's this part of the ceremony here. And then, of course, the entourage will leave to head towards the groom's residence. 